Check the description for the following discount codes. If like me, you were excited to try the new Oculus Air Link, only to hook it all up, get it working, and then find out that it's running at like 10 frames a second for some strange reason. So slow that even trying to navigate to the Air Link Options tab in the Oculus Home was a real chore. You know, you, you move your hand and you have to wait like five seconds for it to gradually catch up. And you're thinking, what the hell's going on? You get there, you check your bit rate settings and they're, they're, they're set to dynamic, they're going low, you put it down to 10 and nothing improves. You know, <laughs> what on earth is going on? And I thought to myself, well, you know, this, this is an experimental feature. Maybe it's just a bug, but I, um, I reinstalled the Oculus software, restarted the computer, restarted the Quest, all the usual things you would do. You know, I, I loaded up a virtual desktop to make sure it wasn't a, um, you know, a network problem with my Wi-Fi. Virtual desktop worked perfectly, so I'm thinking, well, it's definitely something to do with Oculus Link. Anyway, what it turns out to be is for those of us that have used the Oculus Debug tool in the past for the wired Oculus Link, there are a couple of settings that we may well have played with in there that cause this problem with Oculus Air Link and they need to be put back to their default values. So let me get some screen capture on the go here. There we go. And I'll show you what to change to put it right. So load up Oculus Debug Tool, obviously. And if you go down here, it's just these two at the bottom here. Dynamic bitrate max needs to be at zero, and the encode bitrate also needs to be at zero. For me, I previously had encode bitrate set at 300 because that is optimum for Oculus Link wired link. Make sure they're both at zero and that everything else looks as it does there. I haven't played around with any of the other settings, so if yours looks like mine, it should solve your problem. But yes, do that. Make sure you hit enter after changing the value and then close this down. Connect Oculus Air Link and you should now have a normal Oculus Quest 2 wireless connection experience, very similar to virtual desktop uh, without the sort of slowing down of time that happened previously. Anyway, I hope this helps a few people out there. I had to little, dig around a little bit to find it and I thought I'd just share it with everyone. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching and take it easy.